today's video is brought to you by BHEDesigns.com. You're able to get these beautiful handmade wooden flags that are right behind me, just like that or whatever you'd like through the link in the description box below. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about AOC referring to herself as a Planned Parenthood baby. Now, that's kind of an oxymoron, ain't it? Because when I think about Planned Parenthood, I don't think about them bringing babies into the world. I think quite the opposite. I think about them taking babies out of the world, removing babies, eliminating babies. Now, before I go any further down that rabbit hole, let's go ahead and roll the clip. And for context sake, this was part of her remarks at a House committee hearing called Birthing While Black, Examining America's Black Maternal Health Crisis. Not really sure why AOC was there, but different story, I digress. After we get done watching that, I'll talk about what was said there, then I'll give you the rest of my two cents, my deep detail analysis, and then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. So much, uh, Chairwoman, Madam Chairwoman. I that was just a lot, and I think it's really important that it's addressed uh, very directly right now and in this moment. First and foremost, I don't want to hear a single person on this committee or outside of this committee talk about what about uh, valuing life when they continue to uphold the death penalty, when they continue to support policies that disproportionately incarcerate and lead to the deaths of black men and people throughout this country and uphold in a an absolutely unjust medical system that exists for profit that allows people to die because they can't afford to live. In addition to that, if we want to talk about Planned Parenthood, let's talk about how many lives Planned Parenthood has saved and how many babies have been born because of the prenatal care provided by Planned Parenthood. And if you don't if you don't believe it, and if you've never met a Planned Parenthood baby, I'm happy to let you know that I am one. And that my mother received and relied on prenatal care from Planned Parenthood when she was pregnant with me. And so if we're concerned about life, we don't get to talk about anyone else who's not concerned about the full spectrum of that when we are upholding policies that kill people. Move all right, you saw that, you heard that. Now, there, there is a whole lot there. First of all, before I even get into Planned Parenthood and abortion and stuff like that, I mean, why must the black man always get brought up in these kinds of things, all right? Leave us out of it. What am I to do with this? You're talking about birthing while black. I can't deliver a baby, all right? Regardless of what they want to say, talking about birthing persons, all this and that, I'm a man, I'm biological male, I do not have ovaries and nothing like that i'm not going to be able to deliver no baby so leave me out of the whole situation and you're talking about black men get shot down all this and that who's doing the shooting down the, the the white man the police or somebody who looks just like me in the face huh I, i'm gonna take option three for a thousand alex r.i.p i'm gonna take option three but i'm getting triggered so i'll move right along now you're playing parenthood baby really how does that work Planned Parenthood is an abortion mill. They can give you the line about, oh, abortion is only 3% of our services and we do much more. We do prenatal care. Their prenatal care is the equivalent to Flintstones vitamins. Cut it out. All right. You can go to Wally World right now and get your Planned Parenthood care for the low, low. You don't have to go to an abortion mill for uh, pregnancy care. You go there to get an abortion. That's what it's all about. They say 3% of the services because they give you like a sheet of paper talking about, okay, here's, here's what you got to know about your pregnancy, your abortion. They might give you a Band-Aid if you got a boo-boo on your arm or something. They kind of bunch of different things as quote-unquote services, and then they put abortion in there as a service. Although they say it's 3% of the services, it's the majority of their revenue. It's the majority of the revenue, and it's the draw. It's the reason why you go there. It's like, okay... I'm at an ice cream shop. They might have a donut, but I came here for the ice cream. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's kind of what's going on. They, they can upsell you on other things. All right, I'm at an auto repair shop, and they have air freshener for my rearview mirror. Cool. Let me get the air freshener, a pack of gum, 
and uh, uh, you know, a, a tire pressure gauge. But for real, I need to get a new tire. I need to get a patch and a tire rotation, oil change, that kind of thing. That's generally what's going on with Planned Parenthood. So don't tell me that their chief method of being able to make money is not that relevant. All right. So that's just what it is. And what did you get as an infant, as an unborn baby from Planned Parenthood that you could not have gotten from anywhere else, from a free clinic, from a hospital, from anywhere? Like I said, their uh, health care, their prenatal health care is the equivalent to Flintstone vitamins and gummies. Go to Wally World, Al 7, Row 6, and pick them up right now for five ninety nine. That's all you, that's all I need to do right now. You need to go to the Planned Parenthood for that. So let's just stop playing games. Okay, th these people are just weird. Why is this even the topic talking about uh, birthing while black? They're not looking into the actual things. They're, they're looking at this whole thing of infant mortality being very high in black women as the issue of racism. That was the whole point of the talk where AOC was at. That's why she invoked the racism and things of that nature because that was the tone of the whole thing. Oh, it's racism. That's the reason why there's a high infant mortality rate. Well, first of all, are you counting the Planned Parenthood deaths? Are we talking about that? They want to talk about a death penalty and things of that nature. But see, we're talking about a penalty for people that have committed a crime. We're talking about those that have been tried and proven as guilty versus innocent people that are killed at Planned Parenthood, right? That's what we're talking about. But going back to this whole idea of racism and infant mortality, have they looked at other factors that could be the reason or is a primary objective to prove racism as the reason why there's a high infant mortality rate in the black community. Like I said, abortion is right there. That'll make the infant mortality go higher. But aside from abortion, which is the chief reason why all black folks die in America, and it's not even close, if you put HIV, AIDS, homicide, suicide, fire, accidents, drug overdose together, it would still not be the equivalent to abortion every single year. We've lost like one third to one half of our population as black people due to abortion. We're only about 36 million strong. We should be closer to 80 million, but we're not thanks to abortion. Now, if it's about racism and things of that nature, who's going to support abortion? Who wouldn't? You got less black folks who would like that more than the racist who does not want to see anybody black. Right. But again, going back to the whole thing, aside from the biggest thing, which is abortion, as far as infant mortality, Maybe we should address other issues like, I don't know, personal choice, people not taking care of themselves, the obesity rate. I saw Corey Bush there talking about the same thing, I suppose. That's where she said this infamous line about uh, black birthing people. I sit before you today as a single mom, as a nurse, as an activist, and as a congresswoman, and I am committed to doing the absolute most to protect black mothers, to protect black babies, to protect protect black birthing people and to save lives. Meaning, I guess, if you uh, consider yourself to be transgender, but you're a woman and you give birth, you're not a woman, but you gave birth. And biology says that you got to be woman to give birth, but I'll move on. Maybe there are other reasons why infant mortality is very high in the black community. You got drinking, drugging, obesity. That is three main reasons why it could happen. People not taking care of themselves, not going to the doctor. And they want to say that healthcare is very expensive and it's prohibitive to get, but poor people, people that are like low on the totem pole may not have the best conditions like a Bill Gates or Elon Musk or somebody like that, a uber wealthy person, but in many ways they have easy access to things that they need. All right. They need healthcare, they need whatever housing, food, they can get it easily. You got food stamps with EBT, TANF, Section 8, all kinds of things. There are all kinds of programs and safety nets for these people. Actually, there's too many which kind of subsidizes permanent poverty, permanent underclass status. What's the incentive to ever move from there to do the hard leg work to move from there if you're comfortable right where you at? You got everything you need. You got your food, clothing, shelter. What more do you want? You should strive for more, but some people feel comfortable having that right there which enables them to not do any kind of work. And it's really a shame, but that should be some of the reasons why there's a higher infant mortality rate among blacks than others, rather than this whole thing about racism. And if you talk about racism in a real way, you got to bring in the abortion, which one particular party, one particular ideology really supports a whole lot. Bring that in 
and then you see a whole different picture start to develop. Who wants to fight tooth and nail to keep that whole thing going? You tell me, but I digress. As I close, I want to say this. AOC, you got to stop. I feel like AOC, every time I see her, she's somebody else. Who do you want to be? Do you want to be the head snapping black woman like the Hillary Clinton? I don't feel no ways tired. Do all this hand claps off rhythm. Do you want to be the Latina from the Bronx? Do you want to be Jennifer Lopez? Do you like, who are you for real lady? She's just like an actress and a chameleon, whatever she has to be at a particular time. She'll be that in my humble opinion, maybe I'm wrong. You guys let me know in the comments below. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you, how do you feel about what AOC said in the, in the whole talk, talking about racism and the black man, the poor black man and pregnancy. How do you feel about what she said? Whatever your thoughts on that are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at with it. It's a complete oxymoron to call yourself a planned parenthood baby. That's just not how that goes. All right. It, it's just, it's just not that way. You're not a planned parent. I mean, did, did you survive an abortion? Did that happen? Oh, uh, no. Oh, okay. So what are you talking about? Oh, your mama got a pamphlet from Planned Parenthood or she got some Flintstones vitamins. Okay, bravo. Congratulations. So if I was a baby and my mom went to the store and got me some vitamins, am I a Walmart baby? Am I a Target baby? Let's just be real. Let's just use the proper terminology, the proper terms here. You're not a Planned Parenthood baby. You are an adult. You are a person that probably had two loving parents that did not have to even deal with that whole Planned Parenthood thing. You probably went to a regular hospital or at home like everybody else in the world. Stop playing the games. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.